Hi, my name is Natalie Goldfield. I'm a third year medical student at the University of Virginia, and today I'll be presenting our analysis on the burden of single-use sterile surgical supply waste in the operating room. As we well know, climate change and pollution pose imminent threats to patient and population health. Despite our recent efforts, the U.S. remains the second largest emitter of greenhouse gases globally, and 8.5% of these emissions are attributable to the healthcare sector. In addition, the U.S. ranks lower in health outcomes when compared to other developed countries, but spends more than one-sixth of its GDP on healthcare, vastly more than any other nation. Surgical care alone is responsible for nearly a third of all U.S. healthcare spending, and operating rooms produce more than 2,000 tons of waste per day. One significant component of operating room waste is single-use sterile surgical supplies. These are items such as sutures, gowns, and syringes, which are routinely opened prior to surgery in anticipation that they will be used, and once opened, they can't be used in a future procedure. Surgeons estimate that about 26% of such supplies open go unused by the end of a case. In fact, a study from UCSF found that the Department of Neurosurgery alone could save $2.9 million per year if they simply avoided unnecessary waste of sterile surgical supplies. Eliminating this type of waste requires determining which supplies are the largest culprits of it. And unfortunately, assessments of unnecessary waste are rare because they're labor intensive and often involve extra personnel in the operating room. To date, this is the first study to gather real-time HIPAA-free data through photo capture to assess the amount and sources of waste in the operating room. To conduct this analysis, we positioned a GoPro Hero 8 camera on a tripod above the scrub table at the start of each surgery. The camera took a picture of the scrub table every two seconds until the procedure was complete. Images were then reviewed frame by frame. Open single-use sterile, sterile surgical supplies included items identified in the first image or opened in, in subsequent images. Items that were moved or left the field of view were considered used, and supplies remaining on the table at the end of the surgery were considered unused. The primary measure of the study was financial waste, defined as the cost of open but unused single-use sterile surgical supplies. Secondary measures were number of individual supplies wasted per surgery, percent of total cost wasted, and percent of items wasted. After reviewing the images frame by frame of all 41 surgeries, we found that the median unused surgical supply cost per case was $13.10. This equates to a median of 8.55% of surgical supply costs wasted. The mean number of items wasted was 9.27, equating to a mean of 26.2% of surgical supplies wasted. Figure one shows an example of two sterile scrub tables at the start and end of a pediatric surgery, with many items on the, in the initial pictures, figures A and B, remaining untouched at the conclusion of a case in figures C and D. The total cost of unused supplies across all surgeries was $1,842.53, with the total number of items wasted at 380. The most frequently wasted items during this analysis included sutures, syringes, towels, rollers, and cups, while the most expensive sources of waste were laparoscopic trocars, sutures, insufflation needles, and drapes. Table one shows a breakdown of these most frequently wasted supplies and the most costly wasted supplies. In conclusion, we were able to identify over $1,800 of unnecessary single-use sterile surgical supply waste by analyzing images of scrub tables from 41 different surgeries. If we scaled these results to the large volume of pediatric surgeries performed at UVA each year, we estimate that the Division of Pediatric Surgery could save over $44,000 simply by not opening what it won't use. Across all cases, a mean of 26% of items open on the scrub table at the beginning of the case were discarded at the end without being used. The items most commonly wasted, including sutures, syringes, and towels, are not unique to any individual surgical specialty, and therefore they serve as important targets for waste reduction across all surgical fields. A recent published survey of surgeons reported that 95% are willing to change their workflow to reduce waste in the OR. They report that the barriers to doing so include lack of awareness of waste, lack of concern for waste, and lack of time to address waste. We hope that this analysis can address some of these barriers by quantifying the burden of waste and also by highlighting specific sources of unnecessary waste, such that health systems can implement targeted interventions in the future. The next iteration of this research will try to eliminate human involvement from parts of the data analysis. We're designing computer vision software to assist with the asynchronous analysis of scrub table images to identify unnecessary waste. We really appreciate Dr. Daniel Levin, Dr. Eugene McGarren, and the entire pediatric operating room nurse and technician staff for welcoming us into their operating rooms. We welcome any questions and thanks for listening.